So you want to tell everybody that you're having a heart attack on stream. Awesome. So it was time for the spooks. It's time for the Halloween frighteners. If you are watching this as it's just released, you will realize that it is October. If you're watching this later on down the line and it is not October, spooky season never goes away. The spooks. But anyway, hi guys, welcome back to another video from myself, Ghost Arcade. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up a heart rate monitor. This is gonna be like a BPM monitor. I'm pretty sure you've seen it. I'm just gonna put it down here for anybody who's not seen this. This is a live BPM feed going straight from my Apple Watch to the very screen that you're looking at right now. I'm gonna tell you how to set up this heart rate monitor in just four steps. This is the amount of steps that you need to get from your couch and your sitting room to the fridge to grab a beer if you don't live in a mansion. It is gonna be simple, it's gonna be easy. I'm gonna try and make this as quick as possible for you guys so then you can show your stream people how you are having a heart attack live on stream. Isn't that cool? Call the doctor, please, if you are having a heart attack. The four things that you will need for this, I'm gonna put them out here. Number one is going to be an Apple Watch. Number two, uh, what you will need is your Streamlabs OBS or Stream Elements, whatever you have or whatever program that you're using to stream on, as long as you can enable a browser source. The third thing you will need is a program, which I'm gonna link down below, and this is called HDS Overlay. So what this does is this sends the information from your Apple Watch to your your browser source and the last thing that you are going to need is going to be an app on your Apple watch and it is called health data server health data server is going to be the program that you're downloading for your Apple watch or the app that you're going to be downloading for your Apple watch and what this does is this takes the information from your live heart rate monitor or BPM which is beats per minute by the way don't know if you knew that one Educated. Everything will be linked in the description below for you guys. The only disclaimer that I do have to say is that the health data server costs approximately $1.99, which is basically like a Happy Meal. Do Happy Meals cost that much anymore? Maybe not. So I'm going to bring you over to the studio or... I'm gonna sit in a chair in front of my computer, but if you guys have any questions throughout the course of the video, please do drop me a comment below and I will definitely, definitely, definitely not get back to you. No, I'll get back to you, don't worry. I'll get back to you, I swear. Welcome to my studio. So there's a link in the description. It is the GitHub link and it is for the HDS overlay. We're gonna do the web browser that includes that and then we're gonna go down. I've seen that they have a new update here. So I'm sitting currently on the 7.4.2 version. I've deleted everything so I'm doing this like you would be installing it for the first time. You have your three options. The three options are obviously for Linux systems, it's for Mac OS, and then you have Windows, which is what I'm using. So you can use this on different platforms. However, I'm gonna do this on Windows today. You're gonna scroll down once you come here to 4.2. You're gonna go to the Windows. We're gonna click save file. Save file. I don't know why I said it like that. You're gonna save the file. You're gonna go to the source code dot zip and you're gonna save it. So once these two files have downloaded from your web browser to your downloads folder, what I like to do is either put them in my own folder or I'm gonna put them on the desktop, which is what I'm gonna do right now. So if we take these down to the desktop, so the first thing we are gonna do is go to HDS overlay systems. We are gonna right click and run as a administrator so whenever we run an administrator it's going to give you this message what you need to do is hit that more info button and then hit run anyway and then it is going to bring this up you're going to allow the access from this if you do have any antivirus software as well it is going to do a scan so once this loads up it is going to give you basically a bit of information i'm going to break this down in the way that you cut out all the boring stuff and then you get all the stuff that you need the main thing that we're going to be focusing on here is your ethernet or it is going to be wireless obviously I'm plugged in Ethernet so this is your current IP address for your system obviously I have blanked this out for the purpose of this stream because I'm not an idiot and I don't want you to hack me it's gonna give you a HTTP server port 8080 this is gonna be your local port but before I get into this I'm just gonna go over the dot zip that you got this is for customizing your overlay if you're looking to add different font to it if you're looking to add a different picture for the heartbeat I kind of keep it the way it is because I feel like as if it's quite clean and it matches the aesthetic of my stream. So the next thing we are gonna do, we are 
we're going to go to your browser again. We're going to type in localhost 8080 and then what this is going to do is bring up these icons for you. These icons are essentially from your Apple Watch to your computer or to your overlay. This is where we go over to the Apple Watch and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what we do with the Apple Watch in a minute. So within your watch, what you need to do is you need to go to the Apple Store. It should be an app called Health Data Server. So whenever you download this, you will be able to go on your watch. It will be asking you to type in something. This is going to be the IP address that I mentioned beforehand. So depending on your IP address, all you need to do is do that. So like 198.1.6111111111111. I'm not too sure what your IP address is, but you, you kind of get the picture. So once you put in that IP address, that is officially linking up through that to the the program that we have on your PC. So once we get that out of the road, that is pretty easy. Just make sure to check everything going through. So make sure that all the settings that is asking you to accept or display, you're gonna check yes for all of those. So let's get back over and let's put this on your browser source. So once you're back from installing the app and updating it and paying the measly $2 that you will cry about probably for about four to five months and maybe downvote this video, what we are gonna do is we're gonna go in to the actual program itself. If you hit the play button on your Apple Watch, what we will see is that it will have a connection of some sort. It has connected the web client and then you're gonna get your calories and you're gonna get your heart rate as well. So this is an active live feed. If you have problems with this or if you can't get this, make sure that your watch is updated to the most recent release because this keeps up to date on your Apple Watch. Everything is connected and set up. The last thing that we need to do now is just add this as a browser source and I'm gonna show you you high. So we are going to add this as a browser source now. So if we hit add and then we're going to go to browser source and we're going to add source. I'm going to hit add a new source and then it's going to come up with the browser source and what we are going to put in here. So once you have the new browser source uploaded, you are going to put in your custom URL, which is going to capture your heart rate monitor. So if we go back over to our localhost 8080, you will see that this is a live feed of what my watch is capturing. We take this, it is gonna be localhost 8080. We are gonna copy this source and we are gonna go back over to our OBS. So if we control V, you will see that it's there. I'm gonna untick shutdown when source is visible and you'll see that it's connecting up to the actual client itself. And boom, there you go. We hit done. Now I like to minimize this, so if you do hold the alt button and then you can customize this to whatever size you need. I like to lower this down, I like to cut out calories. So that is not only how to set up a heart rate monitor, that is how your viewers can scare you whenever you're setting up a heart rate monitor to get scared knowledge. So folks, that is it from me. If you have enjoyed this video and you have included this in your stream, make sure to send me a screenshot or make sure to send me a comment of your Twitch channel. I also stream on Twitch three days a week as well. The link is in the description. It's also coming across the screen right now. If you want to see this in action and see my chat make me poop my heart out through my butthole, then you can come in and check it out. If you do like the video, make sure to hit that like, subscribe and the bell icon. Before I end the video as well, I just want to say a massive thank you to the these beautiful spooky boys for supporting my channel. They have signed up to my Patreon. If you want to know what a spooky boy is, make sure to hit the link in the description below and you can check out what is on offer. Please check it out and then you can call yourself an official spooky boy. The spook. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the... Ah!